Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you the Blink Launcher. It's a material style launcher that pretty much does everything the Google Now Launcher does. In addition to giving you theme support, OK Google detection, and gesture support as well. So to get started, you're going to want to open up the Play Store, search for the Blink Launcher, and install it. After it's installed, you could switch your launcher over to it. To do that, go ahead and open up your settings, go to Personalize, and then under home screen make sure that blink launcher is selected and then you'll be able to get started with it so um pretty much it looks exactly how the google now launcher looks like um to start theming you're going to want to long press the home screen and then go into settings from there you could change up your home screen drawer app drawer doc and just looks and performance all around each one comes with their own options uh, i would suggest having ok google and search bar added to the home screen along with enabling Google Now on right uh, screen scroll. So this will have pretty much the same effect that the Google Now launcher has, where if you scroll to the right, you're going to be brought directly to Google Now. In addition to that, you also have more settings in there um, for the gestures. Now, gestures anywhere um, are activated by having this gesture input enabled. Now when you tap on that, if you enter a predefined gesture, it'll open up an app. In this case, I have Google Play Music set up. You can change that to whatever you want. Keep in mind that you're only given one gesture on the free version. If you activate the prime version, you get unlimited gesture support. There's also gestures that can be activated just from the main home screen. You have two of those to activate those. Go down to the regular gesture support under the settings and then set up a swipe up or swipe down. And then by doing that, whenever you swipe up or swipe down on your home screen, you'll be brought to that app or activity. And lastly, you could add an unread count to your phone app. And this would pretty much be similar to the iOS phone app that has a little badge on top of it whenever you have a missed call. Now you're going to have to actually set up which phone app you want to have that badge icon so when you activate it, all you have to do is select the phone app that you use. In this case, I just use the HTC phone app, and that'll add a badge to that icon as well. You could also set up an SMS, MMS, or Gmail account, but for that, you will need a Prime version of this app. All right, guys, going to do it for Blink Launcher. Be sure to check out other sections in the settings of the launcher to customize icon packs and transitions. Um, but other than that, be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.